Hi there, I'm meteorologist Stacy Donaldson. We are talking avalanches, and I've had so many people say, why is this happening? We have tons of snow in the mountains all the time, but why this high avalanche danger? So I wanted to explain to you why this is happening. We still have an avalanche warning in effect for our northern and central mountains through parts of the weekend as we continue to see more snow piled on top of the snow that we already have. And we've had a couple of multiple feet storms moving through the high country, and this is going to be no different as this moisture continues to move through, dumping even more snow. Now this started long ago, back in November, and what happened was we had a few storms come through and the temperatures were kind of warm. So we had an unstable slab, is what we call it, that first layer of snow back in November. Now we've had feet upon feet of snow on that unstable foundation, and some of these storms coming through are dumping between one to two, two to three feet. And when we have the unstable unstable foundation and then we have different types of storms come through. One's a wet storm from the Pacific, one's a dry storm from the north. It makes those layers even more unstable as they're stacking up on the mountain. And then we just start to see these uh, avalanches come down, not only in the back country, but as we've seen, and I'm sure you've seen the video, here across the highways up in the mountains. So this is something we're really concerned about here, especially over this weekend with more snow on top. We have extreme danger level here from the avalanche danger scale, and this is one of the first times that a five has been issued, the extreme, since they put out the 10 zone forecast here for avalanches. So this is not something that happens all the time, but it needs you need to be warned and be very careful out there because even if you're just driving along I-70, you could run into some delays from avalanche mitigation or actual avalanches coming across the interstate. So I'm hoping this helps explain it a little bit that it's not a normal situation for us, even though we do see a lot of snow here in Colorado.